teach you a new chapter from your modern science book, chapter number five, the ruby return. And the theme or topic of the story is about justice. At first, I would like to tell you about justice. Justice means what? Justice means that people behave in a way that is fair, equal, and balanced for everyone. Once there was a trader and a merchant. They were good friends. The trader, before he sailing away, he gave a ruby to the merchant to guard. And after many years, when he returned, he asked the ruby to give. But the merchant lied, and he said that he has already returned the ruby. So from this story, we will learn that how the trader will get. Justice. So we will see by reading this story. The ruby returned. Once a trader, before sailing away, paid a merchant to guard a large ruby. After four years, the trader returned and asked the merchant for his jewel. And the merchant asked, "My dear sir, I don't have your ruby anymore. I have returned it to you last week." He said that he has already returned the money last week, and the trader cried, "You did no such thing. Give it to me now and don't lie, or else we will go to the court." He said, "No, not not to lie, and otherwise let us go to the court." "Come, let's go," said the merchant. "I have three witnesses who saw me return your precious ruby. Soon." The two men stood before Mariyada Rama. Okay, here the Mariyada Rama means the judge. So both of them, the trader and the merchant, both of them went to the judge. The name of the judge here is Mariyada Rama. And you, next page, the trader spoke. Your Honor, four years ago I trusted this merchant with my ruby. He said. Today he refused to return it. So they went to the court, and the trader spoke first. That sir, four four years ago I gave the ruby. Now he refused to return it. The man is lying," said the merchant with a grin. He gave me the ruby, and I kept it faithfully. But last week I returned it to him in the perfect condition. The merchant said that. Yes, he has given me the ruby, but I have returned it last week. Then the judge asked, "Are there witnesses?" The merchant replied, "Yes." Who are the Who are the witnesses? The they were the washerman, the barber, and the porter. These three men show me the return of jewel. The merchant replied. Then the judge ordered, "Bring them here." In short while, the three men came. Mariyada Rama pointed to the trader and the merchant and asked the three witnesses, "Did you see those two last week in the merchant's home?" The judge pointed to the trader and the merchant and asked to the three witnesses, "Do you uh, have you seen these two people to the merchant's house?" And the three men were replied, "Yes, sir." Next, Maria the Rama asked the trader, "And you, sir, do you recognize this man?" Maria the Rama asked to the trader, "That do you see this man?" Then the the trader replied very angrily, "Your Honor, perhaps I have seen them in the street, but not in the house last week. They are all lying." Mariyada Rama asked the three men, "Will each of you swear that you saw the merchant return the ruby to this man?" Then three of them replied, "Yes, sir." As they answered, the trader's face grew red and his breathing became fast and furious. The judge whispered some instruction to his assistant. Then he said, "Now all of you will go outside." And stay in a separate room. 
each man was led to a separate room given some clay and tore to make a model of ruby after some time the men returned to the court room and five clay rubies were displayed as evidence each of them given a clay to make the model of ruby then after some time they have brought all the model of the ruby made by clay and kept on the table of the judge as a proof as a evidence after starting the five different models mariana rama spoke we will now prove the truth of the case he said and he have seen the only two of these resemble the ruby they are the copies made by the trader and the merchant and the other three pieces made by the three witness not looking at all like the ruby these lying cheats have obviously never seen this ruby or any ruby so each made something familiar instead because the three witnesses they have not seen the ruby so they have made something uh, similar something similar okay and the washerman's copy looks like the edge of the washing stone and the barber's uh, seems like the sharpening stone and the potter's resemble with the brick of his skill it's quite clear that who is wrong who is guilty so at last the judge ordered that now he came to know who is the right person who is the owner of the ruby so he ordered the ruby to return to the rightful owner and suitable punishment should be given for the four liars then then leaving the five clay rubies to sit as a silent witness the judge went home at last and enjoy a welcome rest so we finish this story here so at last the ruby was returned to the rightful owner that means to the trader okay so uh, the questions answer of this lesson you will get from your miley app and i have given some word meaning some fill in the blanks you will get from your my dear thank you stay home stay safe do it for yourself do it for your family do it for india let's make the